everyone, it's Jen. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, I have some project shares today for the Chaos Craft Lovers store on AliExpress and on Amazon. This will be part two of my videos for their September 2022 release. I will link my part one video down below. Um, I had some time to make up some new projects with the new dies, so I wanted to come on and show you what I made. And they're all, um, well, I made them all into Christmas related projects, so hopefully you enjoy them. Uh, I will link all the products down below, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I will take measurements, and yeah, so let's get started. All right, the first item I have is called the 3D Cake Slice Box, and Hannah has a video on her channel, on the KS Craft channel, uh, how to put it together. So I did follow that, and it is very easy. I'm sure you could figure it out without watching a tutorial, but I watched a tutorial just to make sure, and um, yeah, it was very simple. So it comes with these two sets of dies. It comes with um, uh, dies for the top of the box, for the bottom of the box. It comes with layering pieces, stitch layering pieces, which is awesome. It comes with a uh, word party with the shadow piece. I didn't use this on my project. Um, this is really cool. This is, uh, it makes like a 3D dollop of whipped cream or frosting. So that was fun to make. And then here are some more of the pieces of the boxes and also some accessories. It comes with a fork and a spoon. And it comes with, I thought this was so pretty. It's like a lace um, trim piece. And then this is like dripping icing. I didn't use this one. And then here's another icing piece that I did not use. And then um, there's a stitch layering piece here. And on the inside is a plate with all sorts of little doodads that you could add, like uh, sprinkles and, you know, just uh, embellishments for your pie slice. So decorate it whichever way you want. It, perfect for birthdays, for, you know, to-go boxes, for parties, for favors. So I made a, like a Christmas pie slice box. So let me show you, or cake slice actually. So this is how my came, mine came out. And I used the uh, Baking Spirits Bright collection from Simple Stories. That's um, a new paper collection this year. And I just love it. See, that's that, that lacy piece that I was telling you about. It just adds such a nice touch. It's not necessary, you don't have to add it, but I do like how it looks with it. And here are those cute little dollops. Um, use six of the pieces for each little dollop and they all cut out with one pass so that's good and it doesn't take long to put together at all you just kind of glue them back to back um, I added little diamond dots diamond dots on the top of each dollop just to make them look like little candies and um, there's a fork that came with the set as well and I paper pieced it a little bit I like to do that with forks to make the handle like a different color than the silver of the fork um, I used some gray AC cardstock for the base, and um, I like to use that for 3D projects because where it bends, you don't see any white because it's solid core. And then the back, I used some of that dripping icing part. I'm not sure why there isn't a layering piece for the back that fits it specifically. Like there's one on the sides and the top and also the back of the bottom of the box, but not on the top of the box, so I don't know why. But I did just add some of the drip part and I just cut it to size, so I think it does look nice. And then for the Holly Jolly, this comes from one of the other sets that I'm gonna be showing you, a new die set, and this will be in the Christmas Words Bundle, and this offers two different selections. There's uh, one or two, and I'll show you all the words that come in that. So let me just measure this before I open it up. Oops, wrong side. Okay, so the length is about um, about five and three eighths inches long. And then high, it's uh, two and seven eighths approximately. And then at the widest part, oh boy, this will be approximate, about four and a quarter inches. So a really nice size box. The little dollops, I just, I, these, that's my favorite part. They're about an inch high and um, about an inch and a quarter wide. But I thought those were a great idea. I think Nicole designed this and yeah, she always comes up with the cutest things. All right, so that's my cake slice. And when you open it up, they fit together really, really well. The top is just a teeny bit bigger than the bottom. So, you know, it fits over it easily. So that's what the inside of the top looks like. And then the bottom is really nice and deep as, as you can see, like it's 
well, I told you how deep it was, but uh, yeah, about almost three inches um, without the top of the box on it. So that's nice. All right, so inside, I have little bags of those Christmas words, but I did add another layering piece for the bottom. You don't have to do that, but I just thought it looks nice on the bottom of it, and it makes it a little more sturdy too. So I just took this one and cut it out again and put it on the inside. So these are the Christmas words, and I put them in two different organza bags just to show you the different bundles that are available. So this bundle comes with the word holly and the shadow piece and Jolly. Jolly always goes with Holly. And then Candy, very pretty. Obviously you can use that any time of year. Sleigh, maybe just Christmas time. Holiday, Rudolph, and Tradition. And so the longest one of these will be uh, close to three inches, two and seven eighths inches long and about an inch wide. So that's the first bundle. And then this is the second bundle. And these come with just another assortment of words. And this one comes with Jesus, which you don't really see too many religious theme words, so that's nice. Jesus, family, chimney, sorry, I have my finger over the Y, reindeer. And the font's so pretty, isn't it? stockings and everything comes all pieced together you just have to add the little dot and then presents so those are the two different bundles of the christmas words and uh yeah how nice for a crafty friend to fill this up with like christmas embellish embellishments you know this time of year everyone is so busy it's nice to have like pre-made embellishments so um, i thought that would be a nice gift all right so let me just move these over and these are what the dies look like for those two different um, word sets. There's that one and then this one. And you can look on the website to see which is which, which is one and which is two. I'm not sure. So those are my first two projects, kind of. And let's move on to number three. Okay, this one is the Christmas Tree Shaker Memory Decks. So usually with memory dex cards like this one, you don't have to make it into a memory dex card, but it does give you that option. So it comes with the base piece for the, for the tree uh, that you know has a memory dex base to it. And then it embosses the trunk, which I think was really nice. And then it comes with um, like a frame layering piece. So you can make it into a shaker if you would like you don't have to I actually didn't make mine into a shaker and then it comes with these pieces that are really cool they're like layering pieces for the tree so they kind of like stack up on each other oh, I should have put the bigger one on first but you would do it like this and then cut this piece out you can make them either the same pattern or a different one or you can ink them before you put them on so that would be pretty and then that's the top so I thought that would be really fun. So that's that's how I made mine. Um, yeah, so let me show you what I put together. So here's mine. Isn't that cute? I used the Cookies for Kringle collection from Fancy Pants. And um, yeah, I thought that was perfect for this. Uh, I used some pink AC cardstock paper for the base of the memory decks. And even so, it was kind of like floppy. So I added a few different layers to the back. I added um, a piece of 110 cardstock and then a piece of aqua AC cardstock as well. So it's much thicker now and it's not really as floppy because uh, this trunk is not that big to, to support the whole memory decks card. So just keep that in mind. And that's part of the reason why I added these gingerbread guys here at the bottom. Uh, by gluing them to the tree and to the base, it kind of makes it a little bit more stable. So, and these are pieces of ephemera from that collection and I added a couple of puppy stickers as well. This lady, I think, really makes a card, and she is also ephemera from Cookies for Kringle, and I did pop her up on some foam tape just to make her a little bit more dimensional, and I used some frosted lace stickles on her, on her jewelry pieces and on the cookies, and then these tree pieces are all different papers from Cookies for Kringle, except for the pink, that's AC cardstock, 
and this this here was not um, part of the ephemera. This was just part of like the um, you know the branding strip on the bottom of a page, and I just cut that. I fussy cut it and put it on here because I thought it was a really good scale for this project. Some of the um, ephemera pieces were just too big or too small, so. This one was perfect, I thought. And then for the top, I added a, another piece of ephemera popped up on some foam tape. And then I added different Nouveau drops all along the tree to make it look kind of like ornaments. Um, the die set itself does come with these circles that you can use as ornaments, but I like to use Nouveau drops, so that's what I used. So I think this came out adorable. This is also a puffy sticker of books and I thought it was the right scale to fit under the tree. So let's see, put together, not including the tree topper. It's a nice size, it's about six inches long. And I put some more ephemera there on the back. And then it's about uh, four inches wide. And then because these, well, some of them are stickers on the back, I just sprinkled a little bit of corn star cornstarch on them and wiped it off and that just takes the sticky part away from that in case you're um, wondering how to do that. This I kind of should have put my foam tape a little bit further down but that's okay. I just put my um, you know cornstarch, cornstarch on there and took the stickiness away. So I love this memory dex card. I think it came out really cute and she also makes it a little bit more stable and doesn't flop you know from top to bottom um, by gluing her to the tree and to the base. So that's my next project. Let's move on to the next one. Okay this one is called the Santa Tag with Loaded Bag and this is really really fun. It's um, yeah it's like a big Santa hat and it comes with layering pieces for the hat, like the, the fur trim and the pom-pom. And then this part is like a pocket that you glue to the front of it. And it comes with this buckle piece. It comes with layering pieces for the front of the uh, pocket and also for the side. Very fun to put together. I love this scalloped edge on the top. I thought that was a really nice touch. And then I also wanted to show you this one. This one is called the Christmas Star Tag. And um, this is really cool. This is similar to one that I um, designed for Erica, or I didn't design for her. I used the die in a design team project. And that one was an ornament, but this one is a star and it's a tag that sticks out the side. So um, you can make it into a, like a, sh a see-through shaker, which is what I did. I love doing that. It's so fun with these kind of um, dies. It also comes with the word joy with the layering piece and then mini stars and bigger stars and there then a reinforcement for the tag itself and it's all stitched too which is nice and uh, yeah so these are the layering pieces to make it into a shaker or you know whichever way you want to work it. So I showed you both because they're both in the same project. Okay so here is my project and I love these colors. I used Frank Garcia's um, Candy Cane Lane collection. Again, I love using that collection this year. So uh, let me take these out and then I'll show you the, the um, Santa tag first. So I used some um, Joann's polka dot paper for the background and I used that for the pocket itself. And then I did back it with some 110 cardstock to give it a little more stability. I used for the for the um, fur trim of the hat, I used that white embossed paper that's also from Joann's. I think that adds a nice texture to it, it and it goes back to the polka dots on the paper. And as you can see, there's a nice stitch trim on that. This is the pom-pom die that comes with the Santa Tag set. And I added a piece of ephemera, that peppermint, and added some more frosted lace stickles right there. This is some ephemera from Candy Cane Lane, and I did add a little bit of stickles to that as well. I didn't want to put too much on there because I was going to be putting stuff into the pocket, so I didn't want it to stick out too much. But on the front of the pocket, I fussy cut this cute image from Candy Cane Lane with the die, and it's stitched, and you could see that scallop trim there that just you know automatically cuts out into the pocket, so such a nice touch. And I added stickles all around her too. And then I glued on some of these snowflake buttons that um, my friend Sue sent me. Thank you, Sue. I added a little bit of stickles to them to make them shiny. And then I added some uh, We Are Memory Keepers like thick thread through them just to give them a little bit of dimension. There's some more ephemera. And I think that's it for the ephemera for this. So you could see it's a nice depth inside. Also super easy to put together. 
Um, this one is nice and big. It measures about seven and a half inches from top to bottom. And then from side to side, about the widest part, it's about four and three quarters of an inch. So it fits in, you know, works nicely in your regular standard die cutting machine. And yeah, so that's the tag or the um, tag with loaded bag. And you can fit a lot in there. Let me measure how deep that is. That is, let's see, about three quarters of an inch deep. So very nice. So I did add the tag and this is that Christmas star tag and I backed it with acetate as well as put it in the front so you could see through it and that's really easy to do you know you just cut out the back with acetate and just glue it you know just like you would any piece of paper on the back so and that's a nice effect I think so I filled it with coordinating shaker bits I did cut out the star dies the big ones and the little ones and I used both of them inside in the shaker mix the big ones are that that like aqua shimmer paper and then the little ones are the little pink the matte pink paper and then I added sequins and uh, confetti and those little circle-y things from Michaels and just you know ones that I thought would look nice diamond dots and stuff here's the word joy from the die set and I did puff pop it up on some Dollar Tree foam board as well to give it some dimension the paper behind there is from Candy Cane Lane but this shimmer paper that I also used on the stars is from Michaels I love this paper and yep, that paper is from Candy Cane Lane as well in the back. And then I tied a bow with some ribbon I'd gotten on clearance last year from Joann's after Christmas. I just thought it went perfectly with the star pastel theme tag. And then I layered two of those little stars that I cut out and just put them on top of the uh, bow just to add a little accent, cut out the reinforcement, and then tied it with some other like um, sheer glittery trim from my stash from Hobby Lobby, I believe. And that's the back. The back is as pretty as a front, I think, since you can see through it and that's nice and neat. And you can put it to and from there or just, you know, leave it as is and make it a nice um, ornament. So this one measures about four and a quarter inches from top to bottom. And then from the widest part, it's over three and a half inches, about three and five eight inches. Sorry if I was holding that the wrong way. But a very nice tag. Don't you love tags? Oh, just I love all the different ones. I mean, this is I love these um, these touches on the sides of the tags that stick out. Right? Isn't that fun? You can make this Christmas, of course, but you could also make this into like, you know, a birthday theme or graduation or any kind of celebration, I think. Even like a new baby, a star is nice for that, you know, like a star is born or something. So, uh, so I put that into my little Santa uh, tag and I also added this little piece of the negative spaces um, when I cut out some stars there was negative um, you know paper so I didn't want to waste them so I, I glued them onto the the um, Dollar Tree foam board that one there and then there's just a plain pink one and then this is a, a pink Dollar Tree foam board under there that I cut out as well so and then I added the rest of the little confetti pieces and I added some Hobby Lobby trim that I got on clearance and then a bunch of little pastel jingle bells and then clipped it all together with the mini clothespin. So I put that in an acetate bag and um, I thought that would be a nice little, you know, addition to this. Nothing wasted, right? So that's my little crafty gift. I thought that came out so pretty. All right, so those are all of my projects today. Again, I'll link them down below. If you have any questions, please let me know. I had so much fun making all of these projects. They were just a pleasure to make, really so well designed and um, yeah, very fun. And I'm looking forward to giving these to some crafty friends this year. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. All links down below. I'd appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I will be back soon with more crafty videos. Take care, everyone. Thank you, Hannah, for all of these products. I had a great time with them. All right, talk to you later, guys. Bye.